Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. One of the reasons that I like collecting vinyl records more than I like collecting CDs or MP3s is because of the album covers. Today, I'm going to show you the most unusual album cover designs and packaging in my collection. First, we've got shaped album covers. Low Spark by Traffic is die cut to look like a 3D cube. Striper's The Yellow and Black Attack is circular to look like the Earth. The Cheech and Chong album Sleeping Beauty folds out to look like a pill. And their album Los Cochinos is a bus that drives out of the sleeve. Black Moses is an Isaac Hayes album that was released in a regular sleeve. But it was also released in this sleeve that folds out into a cross. Some album covers had cutouts in them. Like Captain Beefheart's Mirror Man that looks like shattered glass. This Tubes album called Outside Inside has a round cutout in the center that you can see the record through. One of the most famous albums of this kind is Some Girls by the Rolling Stones. The cutouts allow you to move the faces around on the inner sleeve. Next, we have covers that pop out. Like Jethro Tull's Stand Up. When you open the cover, the whole band stands up in front of you. There's also the Twisted Sister album, Come Out and Play. You open up the manhole and, uh, well, let's just close that back up. Some albums came in unique packaging. Like Captain Beefheart's Clear Spot, which was a piece of cardboard inside a clear plastic envelope. Alice Cooper's Muscle of Love came in this cardboard box. Fragile. Next we have some albums that open in different ways. Alice Cooper's School's Out is a desk. Originally the record inside was wrapped in a pair of underwear. And From the Inside by Alice Cooper has a series of doors you can open to look inside the insane asylum. And Jethro Tull's Thick as a Brick opens up into a newspaper. Led Zeppelin 3 is one of the coolest album covers of all time. It has a disc inside the front that you can rotate and change the images that show through the openings. I have a couple covers where pieces pop out. The whole center of Devo's Duty Now for the Future is perforated, so you can remove it. And Fonzie's favorites can be manipulated on the back, so Fonzie can be displayed upright. I also have records that came with extra things inside them. The first record I ever bought was Steve Martin's A Wild and Crazy Guy. It came with this Best Fishes picture inside. Three Dog Nights album Seven Separate Fools came with these oversized playing cards inside. Big Bamboo, another album by Cheech and Chong, included this huge piece of rolling paper. Play Guitar with the Ventures has this booklet inside that teaches you to play the songs. The album Alive 2 by Kiss came with this sheet of temporary tattoos inside. The solo albums by the members of Kiss each came with a poster. All four posters fit together like puzzle pieces to make one giant poster. Another album that came with a poster inside was Women and Children First by Van Halen. This ridiculous David Lee Roth poster was included inside. Finally, I have a couple albums with etching right on the records. One side of this live Devo album has etched autographs and drawings by the band members. And this album by the punk act Artless has a big pirate face drawn onto one side. I hope that you enjoyed seeing the unique album art today. If you did, don't forget to click the like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.